After my family's house caught fire, I was diagnosed with severe anxiety and PTSD, and I was prescribed Valium at 11 years old. I'm supposed to take two 20 milligrams of Adderall, three two milligrams Xanax, and Ambien every single night for insomnia. Tobin Max has a mood stabilizer. I also have a medical marijuana card. The first time I got drunk, I was 12 years old. Now I get blackout drunk very often because who doesn't love a Corona anyways? Um, up top of my fridge, I like to keep sweet and sour mixer because I love making margaritas. I moved out of the house when I was 16 years old and got my own place. You gotta start cleaning up your own stuff. You're almost 21 years old. It's time. I have zero motivation. I've been relying on my settlement money. A couple months ago, I received a $5,000 check. I blew it all on more lip injections, my eyelashes, shopping. I completely go the wall when I have money. It's go hard or go home, in my opinion. In one night, I spent $2,500 at a strip club. I bought a $500 purebred just because I saw her at the mall. All of these purses and stuff together is costing me at least $12,000. Whenever I spend too much money and I realize, you know, whoa, you've been partying a lot and you're a little short on this power bill, I gotta give my dad a ring. I don't have anything else to do, so I spend money. Well, it's good to meet you. You, th you think they need some healing? My father feels an unnecessary amount of guilt because he's my hero. He saved my life. Yes, you, you know. He absolutely did. This hits really, really close to home uh, for us. You know, Robin and I have been married for. 42 years, we've been together for 45 years, and uh, her older sister, Cindy, mm -hmm. which she is always described as her person, yeah. that person in this world that she could talk to and, right. and tell anything. Um, back in 2002, she was driving down the highway at like four o'clock in the morning and some idiotic moron at an overpass waited for the car to come through and dropped a two gallon vat of acid on her car and it went through her windshield and doused her body mm. and People. she got burns over 80% of her body. I'm so sorry. Uh, Robin, have you ever known a more traumatic thing for somebody to go through? Oh, no, I've, I haven't. I've never, ever known anything or anyone to go through anything like that. Uh, and, of course, no one deserves that. But uh, she, she went through that and never, ever one time said, why me? Every time I was ever in her presence, I knew I was in the presence of the most powerful and strongest woman I have ever known. She was determined to conquer her surgeries. She went through over 35 reconstructive surgeries. She lived for years, two years at least, with the tissue expanders. Uh, skin grafts, her mouth was fused for over a year. She had to take little tiny bites. She had a fear of always choking, but you never knew it. She was truly the strongest, most determined woman. She was not gonna let anyone take her life from her that she had worked so hard for. She was a single mother. She raised three beautiful children, three beautiful daughters. She was a grandmother, and she was just determined to live the life that she had created and worked so hard for. I'm, she was my hero, and I was always so proud of her. Awesome. Well, I can't even begin to imagine a 10-year-old child going through what you've gone through, and everybody needs help with this.